Hi, I'm Lauren Weiner. This is SPED 602 with Dr. Levy. My topic is creative composition without handwriting. In the early stages of writing, young children learn the ABCs, how to write their names, and what words and pictures go with what letters. Some students even use pictures to get their point across. As the years go by, some students progress in the areas of spelling, grammar, penmanship, and others, but some have difficulties. My lesson will focus on those students who have these difficulties and become discouraged through them. Writing is very important. It helps to express these one's creative ideas, as well as developing certain skills that help children grow. These skills are language development, cognition, focusing skills, and creative skills. There are many activities that one can use to help these children succeed. The stencils, for example, allow students to demonstrate how to make the letters. The talking stick helps students understand when it is their time to speak. An activity that I like to use is called the story go round. The students or the teacher pick a topic. Each child is just, each child gives their own creative insight. The different colors correspond to the different children and each child represents their own unique idea. This example is learning my ABCs. There are a lot of letters. We make words. My name has a B in it. The word apple starts with A. The last letter in the ABCs is Z. Each of these represent a different child's idea of learning my ABCs. The next is a story. The children decide what topic they want to use. This topic is the frog. So we have the story of the frog. The same color coordination goes into this with the children. There was a frog named Hoppy. Hoppy lived in the pond. He hopped a lot. Hoppy was happy. He had a lot of frog friends. The friends live with Hoppy. He loved his mom. Hoppy is green. After this, another activity that is very well used is the creativity book. Using the creativity book, you make the, the front have, it says, frog. The children use the stencils to create the letters that they want to use. Inside the book, you have many empty pages. Children can use glue sticks, markers, and other ideas. My own creation is cutting out magazine pictures and words to create, to help the children create their creative book. Well, that is the end of my activities, and I just wanted to go over what kind of children can use this, these activities. Not only children with disabilities, but children who have problems with writing. Who, have, who, can, who can't really hold their pencil correctly, or they're dyslexic, or they write backwards, or any of the above. Um, I hope you enjoyed my activities and my presentation, and I hope you have a fantastic day.